as the Mauna Loa eruption continues on the Big Island, there's been some changes over the last 48 hours. KITV 4s Jefferson Tyler joined us now live with the latest. And Jefferson, how does it look right now? Well, Mika, it looks much calmer. The USGS says that lava fountains went from 200 feet to 100 yesterday, and those numbers progressed even further today. Fountain heights started to dwindle, and by this morning, they were down to about 30 feet, and they continue to get smaller as we go on. And correspondingly, the amount of lava coming down the channel out of the vent has also decreased. According to the USGS, the flows are moving much slower now. All the volcanic activity that we'll see during this eruption will be on the northeast rift zone. So people that, again, that live down in, in South Kona, Kau areas, don't have to worry about uh, any kind of fissures opening up over there. The possibility of another eruption or another fissure opening up on the northeast rift zone, if it were to do it, it would do it at an elevation lower than the current fissure. It's become highly unlikely that that will happen. Right now, we're not um, threatening any populated areas, and so we're safe. There's no longer lava feeding into the pool near the highway. Much of it's been drained. And there's only been a small movement toward the military training area of the island. Officials say that smoke has been minimal. Gases have decreased from 100,000 tons a day to now less than 30,000 tons. The USGS says that if the changes continue to progress, it can see the volcano going in one of two directions. Mauna Loa has had a few eruptions like that in the past where they lasted a little over a year. They may last just a few months to a little over a year. So that, that's one possibility. The other possibility that's equally as probable here is that the eruption is winding down and about to turn off. Well, because of the lower levels of lava right now, visitors might not be able to see the nighttime spectacle that Mauna Loa has been showing for the last week. Jefferson Tyler, KIDV4, Island News.